Hey guys, we're still prepping for our king fishing trip today. Um, in case the kingfish don't cooperate or we get the limit quickly, uh, which is three per person. So today that'll be six kingfish um, and two cobia. So that's what we're getting to is the cobia. If my kingfish don't cooperate or we get the limit, because that's what we're after. We don't want them rotten old cobia. Uh, guys, what I'm gonna do is take to the bottom with my jig here. Whoa! Uh, Dave's bobber, big bobber tackle. He makes those jigs, local dude, super cool guy. Love these jigs. They're, they're narrow, cut through the water real nice. Got it, got a DOA, uh, I think this is a cow tail. I just call them the, uh, the long split tails. The jerk bait on there. And guys, for our my favorite pitch bait, we got on our Florida Fishing Products Reel, 25 pound fins braid, uh, 40 G. The six inch DOA shrimp is by far my favorite pitch bait for Cobia. But just because it's my favorite doesn't mean it's their favorite all the time. So I'm also gonna rig up my Lose M2 inshore speed sticks pa paired up with my custom inshore speed spin, guys. Um, awesome rod, I'm using the 7-Eleven. I've got a uh, Seaguar 40 pound blue label fluorocarbon. I utilized an FG knot that uh, old Captain Blair Wiggins showed me how to tie when we filmed together. Um, use that to secure it to the leader to my main line. And then I'm just getting this little eighth ounce, I think it's an eighth or 16, call it an eighth ounce jig head, guys. I don't know what it is. It has a weight on it and it has a hook, okay? That's all I know. Don't overcomplicate fishing, guys. People make it harder than it needs to be. Um, so guys, I got that jig and I'm not sure if Mark from DOA changed the name of these. These were the airheads. You can get them at Palmetto State Armory. Go get you some. Guys, this is awesome. I want something when I have a pitch bait for Cobia when they come by the boat. I want something that either basically stays on the surface or sinks very slowly. That DOA shrimp, super slow. And you pop it just like a, a shrimp pop, you pop it and it'll get that Cobia's attention. This thing, I like to work a little bit more quickly, just like a bait fish trying to get away that's injured on top of the water. I'm securing it with this, uh, we're gonna call it the fisherman's knot, that's what I call it. I only know three knots, guys. Um, a square knot, the fisherman's knot, and the FG knot. That's all I know. Uh, so everybody, everybody that puts a lot of thought and stuff into it, not saying they're wrong at all, you're, they're just a lot smarter than I am. So, well, I don't know that we'll see. Uh, we'll see if this catches fish or not. If I can even tie this knot, I might only know two knots, guys. When in, when, when in, what is it? When in doubt, tie a lot. What is it? What is it? A knot. Hold on. Go if you there. can't tie a knot, tie a lot. <clears throat> That's what it there is. It is. So, guys, we just did six loops around the main line, back through the original loop, and then we're going to cut our tag line. So that's it for prepping for Cobia. Uh, hopefully the kingfish will work out and we ain't got to use this stuff. We'll see if it works or not.